Hello guys, welcome to windowsreport.com. In this video, we're going to talk about another BSOD error that you can solve with a few easy solutions. Today's BSOD error is tcpip.sys. This is an error that is uh, most likely related to the network's card driver. So in this video, I'm going to show you a few methods that you can try to solve this issue. <music> A common way to solve the problem is to reset the TCP slash IP. To do that, you're going to have to access the command prompt. Just click on the search button and then type in here CMD. Then right click on command prompt and run as administrator. In command prompt, you're going to have to type in net sh space int space IP slash reset. Press enter and your TCP slash IP should be reset. Then you have to do a computer restart, boot again into your Windows operating system and see if the problem persists. If it persists, stay in this video because I'm going to show you a few more solutions. Another common fix for this problem is to update your network's card driver. So to do that, I'm going to show you a program called Driver Updater. You're going to have the download link for this program in the description down below. Just install it and scan your system for outdated drivers. And this program will let you update or install the drivers that you don't have on your PC. And the last solution that I'm going to mention in this video is to disable the web protection. And this is a bit weird, I know, but um, the problem and the BSOD error could come up because of your antivirus software. Either you uninstall your antivirus to see if that's the problem or you disable web protection from your antivirus and see if the problem is there anymore if you get the BSOD error. So hopefully after watching this video, you solve the problem and you won't get any more of the BSOD error. So this was the video, guys. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel with the notification bell activated so you won't miss any future uploads also don't forget to leave a comment down below with problems that you have on your windows operating system and we can try to solve your issue in the next video until next time have a nice day